Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically edge rusher Marcus Davenport. And he, again, is a edge rusher in this particular draft class that has gotten a lot of hype. Uh, he was a guy that going into the Senior Bowl in particular was considered to be a top 10 overall player. And the Senior Bowl kind of tempered that a little bit. Didn't have the best week in terms of practices. He showed up in the game, though. He definitely showed up in the game. Uh, went to the Combine. And this video really is going to go over uh, his entire profile. So we're going to talk about his production data again. We're going to talk about his athleticism data, at least what he looks like after the Combine. And then also get into a couple data comps. So I found a couple players uh, that are kind of similar to him based on data and could be very similar in terms of what his career arc could be um, based on data. So if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, so if you're not familiar with what solo tackle data is or you're not familiar with what athleticism data is, just go to the description and all the information will be there in terms of a general overview of what those terms mean uh, when it comes to uh, the data that I talk about. Uh, so first off, getting to Marcus Davenport's uh, production data. Um, if you've already seen my previous video on this, you can kind of fast forward a little bit, but just to get the general stuff out of the way, uh, Marcus Davenport was a guy that had a 97.44 solo tackle score, 91.05 sack score, and 94.59 uh, flexibility, uh, not flexibility, but TFL score. Uh, so based on production, Marcus Davenport was fantastic. It is important to note that a lot of his production was against fairly weaker competition. You know, he's a guy that played at UTSA. He didn't really play in the SEC, but it's still a good profile to have because you do want a guy to at least be somewhat productive uh, wherever, anywhere he plays. So um, you definitely can knock the fact that he didn't play the strongest of competition, but you can't really knock the fact that he was still very productive whether he, wherever he played. So again, very, very good production profile. Um, even though it was against lower competition, it's still a very good overall profile. When you look at it in terms of the bottom and thresholds of all pro potential, when you look at the averages for all pro players and the averages for pro bowl players, Marcus Davenport is definitely within range of a, a potential all pro to pro bowl player based on his production profile. Uh, then when you get to his athleticism data, uh, he had a 66.52 explosive or body strength score, 93.41 speed score, 93.09 flexibility score. Uh, based on uh, the data since the 1999 NFL draft class in terms of athleticism data, uh, he pretty much fits the profile more so of a Pro Bowl player than an All-Pro player just because of his flexibility testing. But he's definitely very, very close uh, to what the bottom end threshold for a multiple All-Pro player is. Again, the bottom end threshold means that every single multiple All-Pro edge rusher had at least this score or higher in terms of their athleticism data. So Davenport definitely doesn't really hit the all-pro level in terms of flexibility testing, but he definitely meets at least what his profile looks like uh, in terms of Pro Bowl potential and, of course, starter potential. Uh, when you look at the averages that, at the position in terms of all-pro player and Pro Bowl players, he definitely lacks some explosiveness and definitely lacks some flexibility indicative of what the averages are for all pro and pro bowl players but this is still a pretty good athleticism profile um, and just to get into why the best sort of data comparison that i could find from marcus davenport is jason pierre paul um, when you look at jason pierre paul's athleticism data uh he paul had a 55.51 explosive or body screen score 81.90 speed score and 58.43 uh, flexibility score and when you look at him compared to Davenport, Davenport is essentially like a more athletic version of Jason Pierre-Paul. Uh, and on top of that, uh, another guy in particular is Carlos Dunlap. Uh, Carlos Dunlap, another guy, had a 49.89 explosive lower body strength score, 90.69 speed score, and 68.36 uh, flexibility score. Uh, so again, this is another player that has a very similar uh, kind of athleticism profile uh, to Marcus Davenport. Uh, in terms of his profile. So both those guys in particular have been very productive edge rushers at the NFL level as well. Um, and I think the best comp actually for Davenport is kind of like Jason Pierre-Paul. Pierre-Paul was a guy that coming out of college, similar to Davenport, was considered raw, uh, was considered a project, uh, came in the NFL and, and, and found a lot of success. Um, has similar size, similar length, uh, which is what Davenport has as well. So I think if you're looking for what Davenport could potentially become at the next level, I think it 
very Jason Pierre-Paul is definitely a possibility here uh, in terms of what Davenport could become. Um, this doesn't guarantee that he'll become Jason Pierre-Paul. I mean, Davenport could become a bust like anybody else. But based on data, very good production profile coming out. Very good athleticism traits coming out. Not necessarily a guy that I would consider a generational prospect by any stretch of the imagination, but definitely a guy that could have a Jason Pierre-Paul slash Carlos Dunlap-like uh, impact if he goes to the right team, gets the right coaching, you know, falls to the right system, and all those other sort of things. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Now you can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.